Uh, good afternoon to you, Johnny. Oh, yeah, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um, it's a, a new role for you. Uh, you are the HRI, Horse Racing Ireland Ambassador. So how did this come about and what does your role involve? Well, listen, I suppose the girls in the office got together and they, they asked me would I do a bit of work with them and I said I'd be delighted to. You know, race has been very good to me and if I can give a little bit back to the sport, well and good. Being ambassador means just trying to get more people to come race and make them more aware of what happens every day uh, before going to the races, during the races, and um, you know, you know, trying to get them to to go race and enjoy it. And um, it's like a bit of a bug race when you go once, you get that good good atmosphere, get a good feeling, and you come back again, and that's what we need we need people to do. I expect now as ever, Johnny, um, not just in, you know, in this country, but in, in Ireland as, as well, it's a, a really important time to do that. The pennies are tight for most people. Um, but I guess in Ireland, you know, the key product that you've got is a very good one to sell, especially at the moment with all these top-class horses. Well, it is. You know, the climate everywhere in the world at the moment is, is everybody's tightening their belts. But, you know, we've got you know, such a good, um, a good amount of trainers, horses, and um, racing is really strong in Ireland. It's a, it's, it's a golden time now at the moment, you know, and, um, you know, the, the people in the industry need to be there, need to promote the game, which we have, you know, a lot of people em employed in the industry, so we really have to get together now and promote our sport and, as I say, get people to come racing and enjoy it, because there's lots of other things you can go to now, you know, there's football and rugby and lots of other sports, lots of other activities, so we have to okay. get in there and make it enjoyable for people to come race and be part of it and, and, and keep them coming in the gate. Do you think this may open up the floodgates? I mean, we, we keep talking about racing having to move a step forward and become like other sports, follow their lead. We talk about all the personalities in football and the access to them and, and other big sports. Do you think it's about time we made more of the personalities like yourself, you know, getting access to trainers and perhaps making more personalities of the horses because don't forget let's take Yates as an example and as far as jumping is concerned the likes of Corto Star and Denman they capture the public's imagination I, I think we're more I think we're far ahead of, of other sports you know what I mean if you go to Old Trafford and you sit in your seat that's the nearest you get to anybody you know Alex Ferguson any of those players you go to the race with there you can you know you meet Aidan O'Brien you meet the Michael South you meet John Gosden you know, jockeys are walking in and out of the way room. I signed lots of autographs yet. So I, I think, you know, people are getting it wrong. We're way ahead of those other sports. Maybe not in attendance and and, 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 and like that, but, but to get near to the stars and to near to the personalities and to see the horses in the flesh, like you're, you're what, five feet away from the real stars with the horses. And, uh, you know, you, you wouldn't get that near to them in, 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 in any other sport, I don't think. No, and it, it's so different from any other sport in the fact that, okay, you have tournaments and things, you have the Ashes, you have the Rugby World Cups, but we have so many racing festivals, again, not just in this country, but in Ireland as well. Uh, do you like the festivals? I'm talking about the Punchestowns and, and the Galways, and how can we get more people going to those? Well, I think Ireland's done well this year. It's a very helpful future test, Punchestown again. You know what I mean? People like good racing. They like to go and see the good horses. Listen, big debate is a few months racing. I don't know. But if you, if, 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 you know, um, if, if you have too much of something, it just becomes, you know, part of the day. And if, if there's no excitement building up to the weekend. So I don't know. Is there too much racing this or not? I don't know. But when you get the good horses on the big festivals, um, you know, people will show up there to see them. And that's, 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 that's what, what, what everybody's gone to, to see, like in the ferry houses, the Punchestown, uh, the Chesters, the York. You know, the attendances are up at those meetings, but people still want to go and um, get in there with the atmosphere of the big day and to see, as I say, the top horses, the top trainers, the top jockeys, and, you know, the atmosphere is at the race in the second to none. Now, I know that certainly you guys are doing that. You do it very, very well in Ireland, and we must promote the festivals because I think that's what gets the punters through the turnstiles. But how about um, getting people into racing itself, Johnny? Because, I mean, there's plenty of youngsters coming through the ranks in Ireland, and they start off in pony racing. And now we're starting to see it here in this country. It's only been in the last few years. Are you a big supporter of pony racing to see the youngsters come through? Actually, listen, any, anything that helps and promotes the sport and, and helps young people into into um, racing itself, I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm right behind. I never did it myself, you know what I mean? I, I went to a couple of pony races as a little kid back home. But, you know, 
it, it does help them if you if they have the atmosphere of racing, at least they're interested in racing and they're coming in with that interest. You know, as I say, young lads have a lot of other interests nowadays. But um, listen, it, it, it's good for them. It, it teaches them some little thing, but it's not set in stone. You don't you don't have to go to pony racing to come through and be a top jockey. We've got the apprentice school down in Kildare now, which which I went to. I didn't ride a horse till I was 15, so that was a huge help for me. And um, you know, there's there's lots of young kids coming into racing. Not, no. not they're not all going to be jockeys, but as I say, racing is a great industry. And if you're in racing, there's loads of opportunities, whether it be a stable lad, an assistant trainer, uh, working in studs, loads of great opportunities for racing, and especially, especially in this climate now where jobs are, you know, not just as, as easy to pick up as, as, as they were in years gone by. Yeah, absolutely. We, I know you're doing everything to try and get young people involved, and you've got to, I mean, you're leaps ahead of me as, as far as uh, modern technology is concerned. I must admit, I have done my very best to boycott Facebook, Twitter, and Bebo, I think it's called. But you're, they tell me you're tapping away every day, talking about oh, things. I'm a, I'm a techno whiz kid now, you know, <laughs> I didn't have to turn on the computer until about a couple of weeks ago, but the girls up there have got me now and have me taking pictures wherever I can and updating it every couple of hours. And it's just to give the, the, the people an insight of what my, you know, my daily life goes on, you know. Yeah. Some of them, some of them might think it's a bit boring. I don't seem to be doing that when he's sitting in the car, driving to the races, going for a run, going for a sauna, bed at half nine. But listen, I, I start work early in the morning, so I like to have early nights. But listen, people are getting an insight to it. And, you know, the response I'm getting is, you know, blew me away yesterday, my birthday. I swear, I never, I never experienced that like it. There was so much good wishes out there. And, you know, uh, you know that's what I zone in on. I zone in on all those people, the good wishes and the well wishers. And, you know, as I say, I'm on. I do my best every day. People know that. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to give a little bit back to the sport. If I can, I'm not going to change the world, but if I can help and add to bringing some people into the gates, well, sure, listen, that's all that matters. Yeah, it sounds like you've got loads to look forward to. Um, thanks very much for your time, because we've had you on the phone probably double the amount we were supposed to. It's very, very kind of you. Good luck with your role as HRA ambassador and with the classics this season and at Hamilton tonight. Thanks, Johnny. Thanks, Zoe.